Welcome to my first video. Today I will show you how I develop a Python package. I built a small package where you can create your own memes. Hi, this is the page image flap and down there I found an API and give it a try. I checked the API description and see there are two endpoints. An easy get request to get a list of all the templates and a post request to caption your own image. To get the data from the API, I use the Python package request. The API uses the JSON format, so it's really easy to get the data. I use the terminal to create project folder, and then I create a virtual environment to separate the Python package from my global Python package. I also analyze Git. First, I simply play with the API. There's no instruction. I simply want to get some response from the endpoints. The first endpoint was really simple. I write a function which returns the templates. As you remember, the second endpoint needs a post request and some more parameters, but that was also an easy endpoint. With these two functions, I create some user interface. There's nothing special, it's only important to hide the password. And there it is, you can simply create your own memes by using the API from ImageFlop. Now it's time to build a package. I split my code into two files and copy a new folder. And I also create a setup script. I usually copy my setup script from my other project, but for this video I just use Google to find some example. It's not really complicated to create a Python package. Maybe I will explain it in a second video. Check the link in the video description for more information. Every nice project needs a readme file, so I write a readme file for this project too. And on this point, I was ready to share my project. For this, I upload my project GitHub. I also want to share my package with the Python community, and therefore I will upload it in PyPy. Mostly this is a really simple task, but in my case there was a problem. There's a name conflict because there's already a Python package with the name ImageFlip on PyPy. To fix that, I have to change the name in my project. After I changed the name, I was able to upload my package. Thanks for still watching my video. I will make further videos to improve my project and I will explain it a little bit more. If you have a question, write a comment, I try to answer everything. On my next video I will improve the setup script and I will explain how the Python package system works. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss it. That's it, have a nice day and see you next time.